So what kind of stuff do I keep just inside the door where I can get at it? Um, I've got my hats, of course, that's important, foul weather gear, my inflatable life jacket, a first aid kit, a trauma kit, this is my anti-sinking kit, and my ditch kit with an e -perb just in case. So what's in the first aid kit? This is pretty standard stuff. Um, most of it came with the kit. I added some Anbisol in case you have a toothache. That's important. Some tape. Um, that's for, that's an emergency eye wash thing. Neosporin. That's the Anbisol. Lots of different band-aids, different sizes, Q-tips, um, some Advil, a few of these things I've added, emergency instructions in case you're too freaked out to think for yourself, um, a CPR face shield so you can give mouth to mouth without touching the mouth, not really necessary rubber gloves that I kind of added to the kit. <clears throat> Butterfly stitches. Alcohol pads to like sterilize stuff. Hand sanitizer. Aspirin. Burn cream. with aloe vera, antibiotic ointment, insect sting relief, um, mostly stuff for like cleaning up so that uh, you know you're not infecting a wound while you're trying to work on it. And in the bottom there's like larger gauze pads, bandages, more gauze, and this instant cold compress for sprains or whatever you wanted to put ice on if you don't have ice. And this is the trauma kit. A lot of this stuff I got on websites for preppers. Um, got a bunch of iodine for sterilizing a wound like before closing it up or soaking. Um, this is really useful. Clotting sponge should stop bleeding. A surgical stapler, <laughs> just in case. Now, hopefully this stuff doesn't have to be used, and it's far from ideal using it on the boat, but, you know, I may be days from the nearest hospital. More hand sanitizer, another eye wash, there was antibiotics, the neosporin, kind of same thing, alcohol, the burn cream, some Q-tips. Some betadine cream to help disinfect minor cuts. Some band-aids. And in the pouch behind here, more burn dressing. Big gauze pads, a roll of gauze to wrap around stuff. And then underneath here, Numb Master. That's the best that I could do to numb a place before putting in stitches or surgical staples. I wanted Novocaine, but this is all you can get in the United States. Instructions, again, in case you're too freaked out to think for yourself. More cleanup stuff.
latex gloves. I have several different sizes of sutures with these curved needles that you need to like sew yourself back up. Again, Novocaine would be nice if you would let me buy it. Um, a bunch of forceps and tweezers and stuff, mainly for putting in the stitches. Butterfly stitches if it's not that bad. A little bit of duct tape. Oh yeah, and these big skin closure things, which I think are like gigantic butterfly stitches more or less. You tape a gaping wound shut for a while. And that is the trauma kit. This is my anti-sinking kit. It's to stop the boat from sinking. If it is. That's not a sex toy for an elephant. You've shoved that in like a hull breech. Flex tape. On the commercial like you can like tape your boat together. This is interesting. Rescue tape. Um, you can put it on pipes. It should hold 950 PSI. It's electrical proof to 800 volts and 500 degrees temperature. Self-fusing permanent seal. Sounded good. Two tubes of 5200 fast cure. Um, some JB Water Weld and JB Weld. Both of those are like in the form of a paste where you need the two halves together. These wooden bung plugs for like through haul fittings. You can hammer those in the through haul if that's broken and leaking. JB Quick Fast Setting Epoxy. So that is the anti sinking kit. And last but not least, if all else fails, this is the ditch kit. It has an EPIRB, a waterproof flashlight, there's a little strobe next to the flashlight. It has a waterproof section for my passport, the boat insurance, registration, that sort of stuff. And then in the main bag, um, some protein bars. There's a bunch of these things, um, 32 grams of protein, 160 calories, would keep a person going for a few days. That's kind of all the food that's in there. gallon of water that's important that has flares and things to make smoke that's another flare kit we'll get into in a bit a flare gun with a bunch of flares that are within spec uh, within their date you have to get new flares every few years little horn to make noise okay and this is like the usual flare gun kit that's in most boats it's got some handheld flares some things to make orange smoke another flare gun I think there's some more flares for that flare gun yeah in there And then in a little pouch inside the ditch kit, I have a waterproof handheld marine radio. It has a distress button that works with like GPS and a satellite distress network. And I'll just check to make sure that the batteries work. 
so that's good to go. <laughs> if you've never seen the movie Dr. Strangelove, there's a real funny line in there with their emergency supplies. Could have a pretty good time in Vegas with all that stuff. And here is your bonus video. You see these things hanging on walls and on the side of the boat and everywhere around here, but rarely see them move. This guy is actually on the move. I don't know what the actual name for these things are. My mother called them bag bugs. There's a little bug inside and then that tapered thing is like a bag that's made with like spiderweb silk or something and on the outside of it is all little bits of grass or leaves or even tiny twigs and stuff that I guess he thinks camouflages him and would make predators think that that thing isn't really something good to eat It's hard to get a good angle on this where the automatic exposure lets you see the stuff on the outside of his bag. If you're not from Florida or the tropics, you probably haven't seen these things, but they're all over the place here. So that is your bonus video. And that's just it for another video. Until next time.